I was sitting on stage in front of a couple hundred people, my peers in sales in Dallas, and had a massive meltdown. And I, I froze. The, that day that I got on stage was, was definitely the first indication something was significantly wrong with me. And it was Parkinson's. Once it sunk in, I was depressed for a couple of years. It was, it, was a, it was a difficult trough to go through. There's one drug that's as old as me. It was, it was brought to market in 1960. One of the most prevalent side effects is something called dyskinesia. Your, your movement is compromised. It's basically a constant trade-off. I'm taking, you know, close to 60-year-old medicine right now, which has got to change. At IBM, you, you'd, you'd have to really work hard not to be aware of what Watson was capable of doing. So I did a bit of digging, and nobody had actually tried to apply Watson to Parkinson's research. And I thought it was really well worth exploring. I, I was curious to find out if there was interest with my doctor and her colleagues to learn more about artificial intelligence. And, and we basically formed a, a, a team. Jonathan um, came and he pitched this idea to us and then connected us with all the right people to, to, to really put together what I think is a very exciting project. The idea of using IBM Watson in our research program. He invited me to come and talk to the researchers in Toronto and present what we had and how I could help them in their day-to-day -day research. Watson is a computer that's able to read medical literature in a matter of minutes. This is something that no human can do. We've really specialized Watson in the life sciences for this product. We use a specific application, which is called predictive analytics, to make the predictions. You definitely need the expert to interact with the application to get the, the greatest insights. The results we've been finding so far have us quite intrigued. We would hope to be able to one day see these drugs tested in our patients. My grandmother had it, my mother has it, I have it, I have kids. You have to be a champion for people who can't be a champion for themselves. I, I think hope plays a huge part in this project. We're at this very exciting point um, with the potential for, for huge reward, but we've got a lot of work to do in the lab before we get there. Anything that moves the ball forward is, is a win for us. If we can do something that we can make available to other scientists to, to accelerate their research, I think that would be a really good accomplishment.